Hello Scale Modelers from YouTube, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you, the restoration of a 1994 Volkswagen Golf 3 VR6. The model kit is from Revell, number 07367 in 124 scale. This build came with an unusual body paint job, and with some missing parts. The body paint job, it's very different from the type I normally do, but I like it. Therefore, I decided to keep it. The only thing that I didn't like is the fact that the black areas of the body are not painted, the black is from the plastic. But for that I came up with a solution that we'll talk later. Regarding the missing parts, we can see that the left side mirror is missing, as well as two windshield wipers, the left from the front window, and the one from the rear window. Also missing are the front and rear license plates, and the top roof antenna. Some other details I need to paint, or repaint, but let me show you my restoration process. To start with my restoration process, after disassembling all the parts that I could, I washed them in order to clean the dust. In the interior, I kept the colors, black and white, with the center console purple. I painted the backs of the front seats also white because they were black. On the steering wheel I painted with silver the VW symbol to highlight this detail. I didn't install seat belts, but I made and mounted the two seat belt locks at the interior side of the front seats. I covered the back side of the interior tube with beige flocking to give this area a carpet look as it can be seen from the rear window. I was convicted that this was a curbside model because the hood could not be opened. But after taking out the body from the chassis, I noticed that there is an engine that was already painted with silver and purple, even though it couldn't be seen. So, I decided to cut the hood from the main body and transform it in a non-curbside model. I touched up some of the silver areas and used the Tamiya panel line accent color black to highlight the VW symbol, as well as the VR6 2.8 lettering on the engine head, and I wired the engine with purple cables. In this image we can also see the left windshield wiper that I took from my parts box and adapted to match as much as possible the other one. As I already said, I decided to keep the paint job of the body, but I didn't like that the black areas of the body were not painted. Therefore, my idea was to use the Tamiya Pearl Clear TS65 all over the body, giving in this way a metallic black look to the black raw plastic. I repainted the turn signal lights with clear orange, and I blackwashed the panel lines from the doors, as well as from the fuel tank cap, and I painted with silver the door locks. As the antenna from the roof was missing, I made one, and glued it to the top of the roof. As the left side mirror was missing, and I couldn't find a new one similar, I changed both by these aftermarket. They are not like the original ones, but I think these will be nice though, and it is better than not have side mirrors, or have only one at the right side, when this is a left side drive car. I painted black the water expressors on the hood, and the trim around the front window. I also made a sunshade strip with electrical tape on the top of the windshield to cover the rear view mirror attachment that was visible, and I didn't like it. On the front, I painted with silver the VW symbol of the hood, I repainted the turn signals with clear orange, and behind with silver. As the front license plate was missing, I used one from my decals box. On the rear window, I painted with black the trim around it, and installed a wiper from my parts box. On the interior of the car, I also painted silver the rear view mirror that was not painted. I painted with silver the VW symbol of the trunk, the taillights were repainted with clear red and the correspondent part for the turn signals, with clear orange. The exhaust tips were drilled to open the holes, and I painted with flat black the interior of the tips. As the rear license plate was missing, I used one from my decals box, and additionally the D symbol, as the license plates are from Germany. The exhaust system was already painted with silver and the chassis with grey, so I just dry brushed it with silver to highlight the details and painted the gas tank with aluminum. I painted the rear disc brakes with silver and repainted the brake calipers with carmine red to give them a brighter color. Finally, the built is finished, so let's see it. Just to remember, this was the initial status of this model kit before the work I just showed for the restoration process. 
I preserved this crazy paint job but made some minor changes and additions. So now, let's turn the page and see the final result for the new life of this model kit. I'm happy how it turned out, and I think the decision to paint the body with the Tamiya Pearl Clear was really the best option. It was the first time I used this clear paint, and the metallic look that it gives to other base colors is very nice. I will definitely use it in future projects. I know that the side mirrors that I used are not the same as the originals of the Volkswagen Golf, but for lack of a better option, I like these ones. I hope you also like it. Thank you for watching and thank you to all my subscribers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below with any question or feedback. See you in the next video.